We have some sample data here and we're going to compute the range, the sample variance, and the sample standard deviation. And these are all ways to measure how spread out the data is. Start with the range, it's the most basic way to compute how spread out the data is. You take the largest number, which would be 456, and subtract the smallest number, which would be 222. You do that subtraction and you get the range from the smallest to the largest is 234. For sample standard deviation and sample variance, we can use StatCrunch or Excel. I'm going to start showing you how to do this in StatCrunch. So you open in StatCrunch, let it load. Then let's go to Stat and a summary stat on our column because we have a column of data. So say you wanted what column you want to use. Our column's called variable one. It's our only column, so it's easy choice here. We're going to do variable one. And then you can pick which stats you want to run. So the standard deviation, if you, if you hold down control, you can pick more than one option. So the variance we can use, and we could do the mean if we wanted. We don't need it for this problem, but just to show, you have a bunch of things you could, the range, you could choose to calculate. And it's important to know that this variance and standard deviation is for a sample. So you definitely want to use these options. If you would scroll all the way down, you'd see an unadjusted variance, an unadjusted standard deviation, and that's for if you had the entire population of data and you wanted to calculate the variance or standard deviation. So for a sample, use the ones at the top here, variance, standard deviation, and then just click the compute button, and a little table pops up. It'll tell you that your standard deviation is 106.47535. Here's your variance. And it just verifies that our range is correct. And I threw the mean in there just for good measure. We see what the average of that data is. So those are your answers. Uh, I also want to show how to do it if you had copied the data into Excel. You got your data. Somewhere in Excel you want to type in the formula, so you go up here, it equals standard deviation and then dot s. You'll see you have two options when you're typing in standard deviation, uh, either dot p for the population or dot s for the sample like we have. And then select your table row, or the column in this case, your table column where the data is. And when you hit enter it computes that standard deviation that we also got in StatCrunch. And then two ways to find the variance. The variance is the, the standard deviation squared. So what I did here in Excel is I just took my value for the sample standard deviation and I just squared it, raised it to the second power, and you get the variance. You can also use a formula. So equals and variance. And you will again have a choice between dot P for population or dot S for sample use S for sample, select your data, and you'll get the same value. 